Hello and welcome to the workshop. Thank you for tuning in. We appreciate you very, very much. If you are new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Buckets, how often do we do a new video? Almost every single day. Almost every single day. So if you love sneakers, you have come to the right place. You are in very good hands. You can also find me in between videos on Twitter and Instagram at Mr. Fomer Simpson. And one more request, if you enjoy this video, please Hulk smash that thumbs up button for us. It really does go a long way. And like I said, we appreciate you very, very much. So with that said, with the formalities out of the way, Three, two, one, bang, bang. This is the New Balance 1700 Colorist Blue Toe by Ronnie Feig. released earlier in the year and retail was 260 bucks. I know, I know that is super expensive for a retail price point, but in my size, these go for like 600 bucks now. So when you compare that to 260, sounds like a great deal. If you know me, if you tune in regularly, then you know I have bought a ton of Ronnie Feig collaborations from his New Balance stuff to his ASIC stuff to some of what he's done with Nike. Lots of really dope sneakers in my opinion and that probably goes without saying, he's done a lot of cool collaborations. But I still feel like there's a huge portion of sneakerheads, mainstream sneakers, describe it however you want. Point being, there's still a ton of people who don't even pay attention to a brand like New Balance. They're old guy sneakers, there's no cool factor, et cetera, et cetera. There's no jump man on the side, there's no Nike swoosh to lure you in. I get it, but. But, 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 quiet as it's kept, New Balance makes some of the best sneakers on earth. They really do. And as I mentioned, a sneaker like this, it's still reselling for five, 600 bucks. The New Balance Kennedys that I have, they go for over $1,000 easily. So resale value is still there on some of these different collaborations. I guess the point is, even though this isn't Nike and it's not clamored after by the masses, there is still a small group of people, a small group of sneaker lovers who love New Balance, myself included, and love New Balance collaborations like these. Now, as far as this particular sneaker goes, the quality is amazing. Top tier, buttery soft suede all over the sneaker. And as you can also see, there are a plethora of different colors, hence the colorist. You got a grayish blue on the toe box. really dark navy blue wrapping around the front. It's so dark, in fact, it actually looks almost black. A really vibrant blue on the side. A couple spots with this paler baby blue towards the front. And I guess what I'd call a midnight blue on the heel. There's almost a purplish tint to it. Moral of the story, lots of blues. You got this mustard yellow as well, which I love. Pink on the side here. With this tiny hit above it, that's a little bit of a darker shade of pink. 
magenta on the tongue and ankle. So lots of blues and lots of pinks. Really traditional New Balance gray on the ankle. I dig that look. I think the gray and mustard really give this shoe a nice vibe. It's obviously a lot of color in these, and I think the gray and mustard kind of ground it a little bit. Buckus, does that make sense? It does. Okay, good. You got Feig on the right heel, Kith on the left, New Balance logo embroidered on the side, 1700 made in the USA on the tongue, and all of that is embroidered white textured flat laces and they do come with some extra laces as well super dark navy interior white midsole with the blue and pink hits and again with that really dark blue on the outsole It's a dope colorway on a really classic looking sneaker. The 1700 is a super underrated New Balance model in my opinion. It's just a really wearable sneaker. And I just like how all of these colors came together. You know, slapping a bunch of colors on a sneaker sometimes, it can go left pretty quickly, but I think they did a nice job executing these. And there was also another pair of 1700s that did release alongside of this pair, both part of this colorist theme. These are the blue toe, the other pair is dubbed the pink toe, and I think both of them are really, really dope. On a scale of one to 10, you know, we gotta give it the official rating. I gotta go at least eight on these. I gotta give them at least an eight out of 10. I dig them, and it's actually a sneaker that's grown on me. When they initially released, I was kind of back and forth a little bit. I liked them, I wasn't sure if I loved them, and they've just grown on me more and more. And I know some of you can relate, sometimes that happens. Sometimes a sneaker releases, and a few months later, you're like, man, I really, really dig those, and sometimes it goes the other way. You're really excited about a sneaker, and then a couple months later, you forget you even have it, or you're kind of just not as into them. Buckets. The, I don't know what a good AKA is. The grouchy sneaker raider guy. Bad. That's a bad one. Okay, wh where are you coming in at? Seven and a half or eight. Seven and a half or eight. Okay, so even, and you're not really a New Balance guy per se. I mean, I like New Balance certain models. I don't particularly like the 1700. Okay, not too big on the 1700. I will say, by the way, just a little side note, that these do run a little bit big. So if you're not familiar with New Balance sneakers, they do run a little bit wide. They do run a little bit big. Just something to note, I guess. Let us know how you feel. How do you feel about this colorway? How do you feel about this colorist theme? What are your thoughts on New Balance? How do you feel about the 1700? How do you feel about Kith, Ronnie Feig? Whatever is on your mind right now, leave a comment below and let us know. Always love to hear from you. Thank you for watching. You are very, very appreciated. We will be back tomorrow. Manana, same time, same place right here at the workshop with a brand new sneaker for your head top. I got nothing else. Buckets, anything from you? No. Adios.